Yeah, we just uh, hitchhiked to... That was just my first... ride, yeah. Yeah, we got a ride from this guy named Rene. And um, he's kind of standoffish about Jesus, but we, we were able to talk to him. And we had like a 30-minute ride to this little town. I can't even pronounce the name. It's Fitz... Fitz yeah left or something yeah left yeah left or something <laughs> yeah so uh yeah this is our first uh, adventure we're gonna try to find some people to pray for yes um we left him with a card um we left him with our information so if he has anybody that we can pray for um he was a little standoffish because he didn't like uh uh he thought church was boring I asked him if what we were doing was boring. He didn't, he said it's no, nothing. he said nothing really. It was kind of, uh, he was a working guy. So, but it was kind of cool. I think we connected a little bit. We planted some seeds and uh, we'll see what today brings, but we'll bring you, we'll try to do as much of this as we can. So see you in a bit. See ya. So here we are in a uh, church. It's raining outside. Pretty good. I will show you the outside of the church. Um, Ruben said that it was more Lutheran because there's no uh, Mary in here. So, and not so much gold. There's still a lot of gold kind of accents everywhere. But anyway, so it was a church and it also has a um, clock on it. We got uh, on two of our things that we got uh, was uh, a traditional white church, um, and that was from Jonas, and then we also got a, um, a clock uh, from Yolanda, and so uh, we have two of those, and two of those are what's out there right now. It's on this actual building, so I will show you a video on that, but um, uh, Ruben's going to probably take a video and a uh, picture and send that on the Facebook uh, feed. So here we are. And go ahead and use this, Jesus. We did pray for uh, a lady. Um, she said that her lungs were better. Um, we did not. Um, we had, it's just like a lot of, it's very, it's been very difficult with the um, language barrier. And it seems like the further we get away from the smaller town or the bigger towns like the less people speak english and of course it's in the middle of the week and there are um really just like a lot of older people out right now and um yeah it makes it kind of tough all right talk to you later All right, we made it to, I don't know the name of this town. A a a pro or what, is, what is the name of this town? Yeah, what? Go be bold. I'll be bold. Cool. All right, cool. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, yeah, so we made it here, and we had a gentleman that uh, two guys gave us a ride. Uh, the first guy gave us a ride, and... Um, yeah, we talked about his his daughter had uh, was diagnosed with autism, and then um, and uh, did we we didn't pray for him, did we? Yes, we did. We prayed yeah, over just general, yeah, just, right, yeah, just general. Yeah. We blessed their family, um, and we talked to them. Here I am combing my hair like a mirror. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, we uh, and then we had another gentleman pick us up, and he didn't speak very much English at all. Um, he looked at, like, was he Asian? Yeah, he's from, from uh, Sumatra. Sumatra. Island, Sumatra. Yeah, so then um, we prayed for him. He had knee screws or something in his knee. Prayed for him. He got healed. Um, he got out of his car, and we prayed for his back. His back got healed. And, um, yeah, I don't know. He could have possibly been a person of peace. Uh, it was very difficult to speak with him. Um, 
and he just kind of showed us the bus stop and uh, that's that's that so but we're still on our journey um, we're a long ways from Tuesday <laughs> a long ways we might be to Copenhagen <laughs> but not quite yet so all right that's it bye All right, we just had like an awesome experience with uh, uh, there's some girls that are had their faces all painted up. I don't know if you can see that. But we are now in Aalborg. Or, um, we just had uh, an awesome, like pretty cool, uh, just some guy picked us up, like he just whipped over on the side of the highway and uh, picked us up for hitchhiking after we went to this, uh, this pretty awesome looking McDonald's. Um, and uh, we didn't eat, uh, but uh, anyways, so we went and met with this guy and we just talked to him and his wife uh, was diagnosed with Parkinson's and she's constantly getting worse. But uh, we, we uh, just talked to him uh, about uh, getting baptized, about, about his wife getting baptized. Um, some testimonies. We had about 20 minutes and then yeah, made some connection. Touched. Yeah, he was touched. He was like starting to cry at multiple points during our conversation. And then we left him with some information um, and he let us pray with him and uh, and God showed up and touched him and he's like, like, oh, whoa, what was that? You know, and, uh, and I was like, that's Jesus. And, and uh, Anyway, so we're hoping to hear from him or that was just an amazing seed planted and now we're in the middle of this town, which is just crazy. I've never been in a town like this. I'm just from little Iowa, which is nuts and people probably think I'm crazy with film and everything, but it's all good. We got lots of people to pray for, so we just need to be led and uh, get some people peace. All right, we are. Ooh, I'm gonna throw my phone on the ground. How about that? Yes, we heading just went this way. heading that way. <laughs> we uh, we chose. I don't know. Well, we decided. Ruben decided that he was gonna look at the TLR map. You wanna hitchhike? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So we checked out somebody that was close by here, and. Uh, to see if we could find another brother in Christ. Um, we did run into the two girls that came up to Alberg. Just like that. Yeah, Please oh stop. wait, wait, wait. Please stop. Let's see. I think it makes uh, pictures when I push that button. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we met the other two girls that came, that hitchhiked up to Alborg, and uh, then we went, we went past, uh, we decided we were gonna walk south and uh, we're kind of just gonna go. We're gonna keep going until uh, God opens the door. Yeah, I don't know, until we can't go anymore. Or he opens the door and lets us sleep somewhere. And so uh, we ended up coming by this hospital and we went inside and there was a boy, his name was Jonas. And uh, he needed, uh, he had sprained his ankle in uh, playing soccer or football they call it here. And we yeah, are still his. Yeah. And uh, so uh, we, uh, well, we ended up praying for him and his pain went away. He was moving it a little bit that wasn't, that had a little tiny bit of pain in it, but everything else went away. Uh, and he was able to move it a lot more than what, so it was just amazing move of God. On our way out, we ran into another girl who had, um, some pain in the, knee. in the knee. It looked like she had surgery and we prayed for her and her knee got better. It wasn't 100% but it was better. 
So we just thank God. Actually, and, and I prayed like one time, nothing <laughs> happened. The second time, nothing happened. Yeah. And then in my mind, like faith was falling down. Yeah. But I thought, let's pray just the third time. Mm -hmm. And then she responded and said, Ooh. oh, something is happening. So yeah. We could, could pray more. We continued praying like, I don't know, five, six times. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll try to get those more of those little actions on video for you guys. But... Uh, yeah, uh, Jonas was just like kind of blown away that he was pain yeah. was almost gone, and uh, and that he had a lot more range of motion. But uh, yeah, and then we talked to his mom a little bit and uh, gave him a movie and cards. So hopefully there's some contact there. But um, we were kind of I'll be it uh, just straight up, man. We're being candid about all of this. I was grumpy. I was trying to get a plan. That's just not the way that God works. He knows how that doesn't work for me. And um, we got tired and we went to McDonald's and we slept in a... <laughs> slept in this uh, thing, these seats here. And, and uh, we just kept going. And then we got out and we just kind of kept moving and not a lot was happening. I was starting to get a little bit down. And then... Uh, Right now, I'm just like, I think we're just at that place where it's like, it's okay. Like, we haven't eaten that today. Uh, we haven't. We, oh, we talked. We had breakfast, though. We had breakfast. We did have breakfast. Yeah. It was all carbs, so we just burned through that. <laughs> thanks, thanks to Mark Sheets. He brought me some, he smuggled some eggs and uh, a little piece of bacon. And so uh, I did get a little more protein than some of the other people. And, uh, but yeah, we were getting, I was getting a little disgruntled and, uh, but, uh, once you realize like what the battle is and that we just keep going forward and God's going to open doors and he's going to close doors and we just have to be thankful for that. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Jesus name. All right, we're back. We were just walking down this road. This road, again. Still. It's a lot. It's about an hour later. There's yeah. Reuben. Yeah, and uh, we came across this lady, which I thought God had told me to talk to her. So I kind of remembered some things about her. And here she comes walking down the same path. And I remember because I remembered her shoes. So uh, we offered to pray for her. And... Uh, if she had anything on her heart that she needed prayer for and uh she declined us but um that was like out of the thousands of people that were in alberg today on the street i remember that lady and she happened to be wow. walking down this same street uh that we were walking to walking out of town so i think that was a god moment all right, talk to you guys later. <laughs> Jesus' name.